Being a chemist requires a lot of creativity. You really have to put together disparate knowledge. My research is really focused on the synthesis and modification of cryptans. Some of the applications for cryptans have to do with new types of batteries called lithium air batteries. And these types of batteries have the potential to have storage densities that are as good as fossil fuels. MIT is an amazing place. And the chemistry department was great. It was super collaborative. Everyone was really interested in what, uh, what projects were going on and what, what people were working on. You got to know everybody in the major so well because it's a smaller major. There's lots of people that you see every day in class and you make some really tight friendships. Course 5 is a very eclectic mix. Um, we come to Course 5 for different reasons. A lot of people want to go into research after, like I want to go into medicine. I think what was cool is when I was asking professors to write my letters of recommendation, I realized after I had asked all of them that, that not only did they know me really well and could write for me really strongly, but that I legitimately really liked them. I felt really comfortable at MIT. I also got a sense of the collegiality among the professors. Eureka is the series of 12 laboratory modules that you have to do to get a degree in Course 5. Each one of them is based on the research of key experiments to the field that was done by somebody at MIT. My favorite Eureka module was actually the quantum dot module. So that's based on work of Professor Munji Buendi, and he's been working on quantum dots for a long time. But we have the chance in module 10 to actually synthesize our own quantum dots. I felt like I learned so much about the different kinds of chemistry, and you could really appreciate how vibrant this field is. and all of the exciting opportunities available within it. And it's definitely made me, I think, a better scientist moving on to the next things in my career because I was exposed to so many different techniques. There's such a culture there that is focused on developing amazing technology, but then also helping to transition that technology out into the marketplace. In 2013, we launched TVs that contain quantum dot materials. We switch out the white LEDs in an LED TV with blue LEDs, and the blue light excites the red and green quantum dots, which then translates into more vibrant, more brilliant colors. So we have magnesium and we have dry ice, and what we're going to do basically is mix them. Having a strong chemical understanding is something they just don't teach in med school. Understanding like how molecules look like on a three-dimensional scale, like how they can interact with each other, like what reactions look like, I think will serve me really well. We previously made one of these, right, where we just got rid of the transcription activation domain. Yeah. Matt Shoulders is Matt. a professor at MIT. He's very involved in what I'm working on. This works well. We're really interested in wanting to understand and learn more about protein folding inside of a live cell because many diseases are associated with that. So you're going to titrate off the chaperones onto the unfolded proteins. Me and Matt are pretty close. Uh, that's a cool guy. <laughs> I like being a violist because it's an experience that lets me take a break from the stress and the rigor of MIT. So much of what happens in the lab, in the chemistry department, you see it other places, like the Buckwald group, for example, their catalysts are extremely popular. And you could just walk you know, a few hundred feet and you'll be in his lab. That's the phenomenal part, is that you have access to these types of people who really are inventing the future. I'm in the Harvard-MIT program in health sciences and technology. The project that I'm working on right now is building an artificial pancreas for the treatment of type 1 diabetes. The administration in the chemistry department is so helpful it was like I was being supported from every side. So getting to this point in my life, like it was my dream, but if it hadn't been for all the people within the department who were lifting me up to get me there, you know, I'm not sure I could have done it. Members of the MIT faculty have helped inspire me in my work. It was really all about interacting with the people that made it rich. <laughs>